There's this whole thing about the, the finding that DMT occurs uh, in our brain and in our body and in the brains and bodies of other mammals and presumably uh, other animals. Uh, and what is the function of that? And that has long been a mystery, and, and there have been various interesting hypotheses set forth as to why DMT might be there, what it might be doing, uh, all of which I think are really exciting uh, to address more completely in some way. Uh, the, uh, you know, I guess my own feeling is that it's there as some kind of neurotransmitter, uh, and that has been substantiated more recently with uh, just in the last few years the discovery of a, a new class of neurotransmitter receptors that are called trace amine receptors, and, and they respond to molecules like DMT and other related uh, what are called amines uh, and give a, uh, give a mechanism by which these molecules, which had been previously thought to be, if they were there in the body at all, just some kind of random metabolite or something like that with no function, uh, now give a, a possible mechanism by which molecules like DMT might actually modulate uh, neuro, neural activity in the brain. Uh, so it wouldn't be at all surprising to me if it were further substantiated with more research that DMT has a neural transmitter function in the brain and that it is involved in various specific processes of mental function.